In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SnBr2. This is tin 2 bromide. So the first thing we need to do with Lewis structures, we need to count up the valence electrons. Tin is in group 14, sometimes called 4A. We're going to assume that it has four valence electrons here. Bromine, group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. Multiply that by two, since we have two bromine atoms. So we have four plus 14, total of 18 valence electrons for the SnBr2 Lewis structure. We'll put tin in the center of the structure. It's the least electronegative. And then we'll put a bromine atom on either side. Once we've done that, we can put electrons between the tin and the bromine atom. That'll form the chemical bond. So we've used two. We have a total of 18. Now let's go around the outside, complete the octets on the bromine atoms. So at this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. Remember, we only have 18. So we're going to take our last pair and put it on the tin. And this will be the Lewis structure for this tin 2 bromide. Tin here doesn't have a complete octet, but that's OK. It's an exception. It can exist with just these six electrons around it. This is a little bit of a tricky one because we have tin, which is a metal, and these nonmetals. But the electronegativity difference isn't that big between the atoms here. So we end up with these electrons here being shared in the covalent bond. And that's why we have this Lewis structure. If you check the formal charges here, you'll see they work out. Each element here has a formal charge of 0. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, and I'm guessing this would be in the gas phase we'd be talking about here. If we wanted to look at the molecular geometry, we do have Let's see, we have one, two atoms attached, and one lone pair. So we have three steric groups. We have the one lone pair there. So our steric number is three. We have one lone pair. So you would end up with a bent molecular geometry. The angle probably wouldn't be 120. It'd be somewhere around that, I guess we could say. But we have this bent molecular geometry. If you use the AXN notation, AXN, a is the central atom, the tin. We have two bromine atoms and one lone pair. This would tell you that you had the bent molecular geometry as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.